William Zapata put in crazy work this weekend against Maxi Hughes. But the real question is, was it enough to entice a fight with Shakur Stevenson? You know what time it is. Let's talk about it. Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy T. That was blazing in sports. Yes, of course, I am back at it like a crack addict, giving you boxing geek girl. Oh, that work. Now, speaking of work, Williams and Peter was putting in Max work. It was like he was trying to audition that he should be next for Shakur Stevenson. Now, see the type of pressure. Speed, combinations, and a gas take that stay full more than most is want to see how can Shakur Stevenson handle it. See, people believe that not only that Williams and Pater can compete with Shakur Stevenson, test Shakur Stevenson, but after that performance again, Maxi Hughes possibly even beat Shakur Stevenson. Now, gotta listen. We are not gonna get too far ahead of ourselves. But I'm telling you, that is a pretty good matchup. See, Williams and Pater having that pressure, them high-low combos, definitely invest to the body, got a, got a really good gas tank, the work weight, I mean, the punches and bunches. People want to see that against a boxer who normally uses his brain all the time. Now, see, if you are a slower-paced fighter against somebody who's a thinker, Counter puncher, make you pay if you make a mistake. You get them time, they would they would eat you alive. But sometimes you put them on a lot of pressure to where they can't think. They can get flustered. They can get caught. They can get hit. They can be put in a position that makes them uncomfortable. But sometimes some fighters have such good defense, they can go autonomous ultra instinct and make you miss and still make you pay now wheels are paid up throwing all these punches it's a good thing that pressure it's a good thing those are pros but some of the cons that come with it that when people come forward they can walk into something big when you throw a lot of punches it leaves more opportunity to get hit yourself because when you throw a punch, you have to leave part of your body unguarded. Now, I want to see myself. How does Shakur Stevenson handles this type of pressure? And I'm telling you right now, this will not be like that last fight. Williams of Beta is not going to be sitting back playing the I throw, you throw, less punches games. He is going to go. So either Shakur Stevenson is going to have to be on the back foot a lot all night. Or he's going to have to stop and exchange here and there. But God, those are my thoughts. What do you think about it? Comment below and let me know.